representative banyan what do your constituents think is the top priority for us this session member from stearns representative banyan uh, thank you mr speaker representative winkler jobs in the economy are important they also believe in us following the constitution which means that we do have the right to listen to other bills while we're waiting for the governor and his commissioners to show up and actually work with us in the conference committees. And we're not going to be held up on voting on things which we have a constitutional right to do while we're, while we're being held up in a process that seems to be stuck through our conference committees being open and we're waiting for other people to show up so that we can get our work done. Thank you. Member from Hennepin, Representative Winkler. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Representative Banyan, I, I should know this. I wonder if you'd yield to another question. Do you happen to serve on the, or do you serve on any of the conference committees? Member from Stearns, Representative Banyan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Winkler, no. Member from Hennepin, Representative Winkler. Well, Mr. Speaker, um, Representative Banyan, you and I are in the same boat. I don't serve on any of them either. Uh, but the information I have is that the commissioners are actually showing up. They're showing up to present the governor's budget, his tax bill. Uh, they're there. They're in a lot of committees. And in fact, some of these conference committees uh, are scheduled to meet this week, I think five of them. Uh, and what's interesting is that five conference, uh, conference committees are going to meet, but six committees in the House are going to take up constitutional amendments. So it's not as though it's just kind of downtime and waiting for somebody to show up. You haven't passed the bills yet. You haven't passed the bills. They're sitting there. They're waiting. All this says, Representative Banyan and everybody else, is that you can't pass it off the floor. You can't pass it off the floor until you've balanced the budget. You can get it ready. You can get it teed up. If you give yourself one extra day, one extra hour, you would have time for debate and passage of a constitutional amendment off the floor before the end of this session. What this says is do the budget first. I don't understand, uh, Mr. Speaker and members, why this would be in any way controversial. So members, uh, just so you know, it takes 90 votes. It takes 90 votes to amend the rules off the House floor. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be able to do that. I've got a list of people to ask questions, but so far we're batting 1,000. Everyone says jobs, the economy, spending, the budget. We all agree. Then we should all be able to agree on this amendment, Mr. Speaker, and I'd ask for a green vote.